They've opened the books on flight 127. No one wants to open that can of worms. Not after eight years. The hijackers had help from inside our station here in Vienna. We need to find out if we had a mole. All the old knives reminds me of spy films of old, and it's got intrigue and great twists and turns, and it's desperately romantic. It's the story of two CIA operatives who are madly in love, and they deal with a case which, for both of them, is a devastating experience and ends their relationship. Eight years later, we meet them in Carmel. They're sitting down to meet. They haven't seen each other in eight years after that tragedy. And what unfolds over the course of this dinner is the truth behind what happened. Vic has me looking into Flight 127. So this is an interview. I thought you were here to see if we still had that old spark. This was something I'd never seen before. You know, a great spy story, essentially set in a restaurant. Two people in a very intimate setting, interrogating each other, and every little gesture becomes so loaded. Someone in our station betrayed us. What about you? They cleared me. Really? It's very much a hybrid in terms of its genre. It has this really beautiful romantic tone, and yet at the same time, there's all this danger because you know you're dealing with spycraft and espionage. We want to keep this quiet. We can't afford the embarrassment of a prosecution. I think this will surprise you. Like the best kind of Hitchcock, fingers are pointed all over the place. Only two people had access to your office. Are you accusing me? I do think in the best spy fiction, they deal with existential questions about why we do what we do and why we lie. And you can have something that feels like just pure entertainment, but it's speaking to something much, much deeper. And I think we've succeeded with all the old knives. This film is very much about the secrets of the past, the traumas of the past, the enemies you made and how that comes back to haunt you. It takes you on an emotional journey. We've kind of got our cards very close to our chest. We're playing this poker game. And yet, behind that, there's this raging tumult of emotion. All we had was real. Why did you run? I think I preferred this being an interrogation. Really, what you're watching is the deep love affair of two people, this love affair that can never be. It's really a romance wrapped in a spy film, wrapped in a thriller. So if it does turn out to be true, what do you want me to do? I need to know the man I send can do what's necessary.